Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Antonio and I'm out here with Visit Bentonville. Ready to take you on a journey around the town. You're gonna see some cool epic trails, some amazing restaurants, and we even get to visit Crystal Bridges. Oh yeah, I can't wait to check that out. But first, I gotta head on over to Fat Tire, pick myself up a bike. Y'all stay tuned. I'm excited to link up with Josh Travis today. He's the store manager at Fat Tire, and he's going to help me answer all my first-timer bike questions. Plus, keep me set up on my rental. Let's see what's happening. Hey, how's it going? Doing well, man. They told me to come back to see you. I'm trying to rent a bike. It's my first time here. Well, Kind of excited and nervous at the same time. You should be very excited. Okay. You should be very, very excited. Okay. You've got a roller coaster ride waiting for you. All We've right. got the perfect machine for the job. Oh, We've man. Got a Trek Fuel EX. This is the best bike for the area. We're going to get you out on that. And uh, you, you're gonna, you've got a lot of reason to be excited. Hey, if you don't mind me asking, uh, how long y'all been uh, in business? 2007. 2007. So okay. do the math and it started just a block away. Um, the, uh, this is the, the old library. It's a really cool old tile floor. Also an old um, hotel. All right. The good thing is, once you leave here, you are three blocks away from the trails. Okay, let's get it started, um, man. I'm so ready. Yeah. Feet on the pedals, please. I'll hold oh, you. I, I oh, you got me. Oh, oh, oh gosh, oh geez. You just met, I already <laughs> <laughs> it's a trust exercise. <laughs> so, First time riders, mm -hmm. up and down, what the down, what does that really mean? What down shift means is you're going down like a slower speed. Okay. Slower speed because you're climbing most likely. So my feet are going to spin faster? They're actually, you know, that's a good question because they may not spin faster or slower. The idea is to keep them at a constant speed, constant spin, but at slower and higher speeds. Okay. I know it's kind of, kind of, you know, confusing somewhat, but you know, if you hit that down button, that usually means you're trying to get up a hill. Okay. And if you Makes hit the up, up shift, that means you're trying to go a little faster. A little faster. I can but yeah. All right, so, well, Josh, once again, man, I appreciate your help. Appreciate you. And we're off. Next up, I'm meeting Stevie Emmons. Stevie works for the Visit Bentonville, the city tourism office. She's an avid mountain biker herself and was kind enough to take some time out of her day to talk about mountain biking in Bentonville. Man, this place is really cool. I can't wait to see what the trails have to offer. This is gonna be great because as a beginner, I need some expert advice before hitting the trail. We're supposed to connect in the middle of the square to see what's happening. Hey, hey. Hey, Antonio, how's it going? Oh, I'm doing good, you know, just riding my new bike. Okay, it's not actually mine, but I rented it oh, from Fat Tire. Okay. So I'm excited about today. There you go, well, yeah. I'm Stevie. Nice to meet you, Stevie. Very nice to meet you. So from what I understand, you live here, is that right? I do live here, been living here about five years, and I heard they got some of the amazing trails out here. So awesome. I'm ready to get it started today. All right, well, since you live here, you do know how integral mountain biking is in this community. Definitely. And the great thing about where we are right now on the downtown square is that one of my favorite trailheads is just a couple blocks away. So are you ready to go? So that's where we're riding today. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm a little nervous and excited at the same time. You'll do great. Yeah, the okay. Trail, the trails here are very suitable for all levels of riders, from beginner to expert. So okay. you're in good hands here. I'm definitely a beginner, but I got a good guy, so all I'm ready. All right, let's go. All right. Man, this downtown square is legit. Shops, restaurants, and home of the Walmart Museum. Such a cool vibe. You can tell people are relaxed by how friendly everyone is. Man, I love it here. As Stevie and I rolled to the top of the All-American Trail, we passed by the 21C Museum Hotel, which combines a contemporary art museum inside a sleek boutique hotel, and is right next to our trailhead, only in the mountain biking capital of the world. 
How'd you like those trails, Antonio? I didn't like them. I loved them. <laughs> yeah, That's man, awesome. that was epic. Well, we don't call it the mountain bike capital of the world for nothing, I'll tell you that. Hey, I appreciate that too. I'm pretty sure I'll probably be out here tomorrow. Awesome, I love to hear that. Yeah. Well, as you know, Bentonville has so much to offer here, so I think you have another stop up next, right? I sure do. I think I'm heading on over to Crystal Bridges. All right, well, you enjoy, Antonio. All right, appreciate it. In 2013, Crystal Bridges acquired a classic Usonian house designed by a celebrated American architect. Do you know who? How's it Welcome. going? It's great to see you. Yes, likewise. How was your bike ride? Oh, it was fun, you know. I jumped, did a wheelie, went way down there. Did a couple of turns like this, then here I <laughs> wow. am. Yeah. Here you are. Let's <laughs> yeah. go see some art. Oh, I can already see it right there from the window. <laughs> this is awesome. This yeah, is an artist out of New York, Leonardo Drew, who came and installed this. It was super fun to watch him. He installed all install this. Install this, yeah. Just got off the bike, kind of exhausted, so I'm glad I got to ease up and uh, check out Crystal Bridges. So uh, tell me, uh, what, what can we expect here at Crystal Bridges? Yeah, well, I'm glad you had a good good ride yes. here. For one <laughs> thing, you can expect a lot of trails. So we're on 120 acres of Ozark Woodlands. We have over five miles of walking and biking trails. And then we have mountain biking trails on top of that. So oh. there's a lot to do outside here, as well as a lot to do inside. So we opened in 2011. We were founded by philanthropist Alice Walton. And the 120 acre campus was a gift from the Walton family. Here we have a collection of American art. It spans from historic to modern to contemporary works, and the museum is all free. Oh. So there is no cost. It is free to walk in the doors, wander through all the galleries, and definitely to enjoy all those trails as now, well. Now, I was gonna ask you, what makes this museum like kind of more unique than other museums? I know you said it's free, but is there anything else that makes it more unique? Definitely, there are a lot of things that make the museum unique. One is our architecture. Oh. The building was designed by international architect Moshe Softy, and it was designed to integrate uh, with nature surrounding the building. So there are ponds and ravines, and there's even a natural spring here. It's Crystal Spring, and that's what makes the museum's name. So okay. it's the combination of Crystal Spring and then these bridge buildings. So on my way here, I noticed a lot of people visiting. Now, how many, per se, would you say, average annually people come out here and uh, take part in this, uh, this cool museum. Yeah, well there is so much to do here. We get about a million people a year coming to walk the trails or to come inside and enjoy the art galleries and all of the different offerings here. Okay. And they come from all over. We have a lot of people uh, locally obviously who come here, a lot of regional visitors, but we have national visitors from all across the U.S and international visitors from around the globe as well. Okay, cool. And I also heard that there might be an expansion in the yeah. making. Can you uh, let us in on a little insight about that? Or is sure. It, can you? Okay, oh, cool. Yeah, no, we can awesome. talk about it. All right. we, are, we are growing. <laughs> Let's go. So as we go into our next decade, we are planning to expand our galleries. Okay. So where we are right now, we will actually be adding more gallery space uh, to the north of this area and it'll pretty much double our permanent collection gallery areas. Our goal is to continue to show more, more artwork and we're continuing to grow our collection of Native American art as well as American craft. 
okay. and that expanded gallery space will allow us to do that. So that'll take place over the next couple of years. People uh, visiting Crystal Bridges over time will awesome. will start to see it grow. All right, Diane. So you uh, you you hinted a little bit about the art. Uh, can you give us like more in depth of like where the art actually comes from, the ideas sure. and stuff like that? Sure. Well, we focus on American art. Okay. And so when the museum was founded, it was dedicated to telling the stories of the American experience. So at any given time, you can walk through the galleries and you can see works ranging from historical days to artwork that contemporary artists living and working across the U.S. Uh, are making right now. And our intent is for people to, to walk through and have it changing up all the time. Okay. So we bring in new artworks, we tell different stories, we're always making sure that people have a unique experience when they come here. Okay, I, I noticed that. I noticed walking yeah. through, I see some art, but you guys got some other stuff like some restaurants and sure. stuff like that. How, how did that come about? Absolutely, well we want to make sure this is a full experience okay. for people. People can pop by for an hour or two or they can come for the full day and we have people who come for several days and spend a whole weekend enjoying oh, wow. the museum. Uh, we have a restaurant that uh, it's open all the hours the museum is open, so people can stop and enjoy a, a meal or a snack. We have a beautiful museum store, and shopping is almost always a favorite experience nice. for people who are, who are coming to visit. So this is meant to be a destination. You can come here and just really relax and enjoy yourself. That is awesome. Thanks. Well, Diane, I thank you for having me here. It was a pleasure meeting with you and talking with you, and I can't, we can't wait to check out more of the museum. Well, great to have you here, and yeah. hope you enjoy your ride. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, if you guessed Frank Lloyd Wright, that is correct. Also known as the Bachman Wilson House, the structure was dismantled at its original site in Somerset County, New Jersey, and reconstructed on the museum grounds overlooking Crystal Spring. Now to the Hub Bike Lounge with Kayleen Griffith, president of Visit Bentonville. We're going to chat over some delicious food and drink and learn more about this exciting community. I'm here with my new best friend, Kayleen from Visit Bentonville. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, I'm doing well, doing well. As you can see, we got some good stuff right in front of us. But before we get started, tell me a little bit about Visit Bentonville. Sure. Um, Visit Bentonville is, uh, we brand, promote, and sell Bentonville to the world um, and hopefully stimulate economic development into our community and create a huge economic impact in the tourism world. Now, speak about uh, the community and tourism. Now, I had the chance to get on a couple bikes, see a couple trails. Now, how do y'all come up with all these trails? Like, what, what's the inspiration behind it? Well, we have a lot of partners in our community. You know, uh, one of the things we work with the Walton Family Foundation and the Runway Group, and they've developed our trail system along with our city of Bentonville and they've worked together to build the trails to give us those trails throughout the community and even going into the region so we have this Oz Trails brand for this region so you're you can ride for multiple days oh. in our community but then you can also stay in Bentonville and hit some of the other communities and have multiple days of riding. That is true now I had the opportunity as you talk about the yeah. Walton family to visit Crystal Bridges Museum. Let me just say, that's that's more than a museum. That's yes. a coliseum right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So, like, how did Walton family get involved with that? Well, uh, Alice Walton led the effort on that. Okay. And so she, uh, and well, along with the Walton family, but she was the big lead on it. And she uh, had this vision for our area to offer art to the middle of America, you know, the heartland of America. And we're really lucky that we were part of that. Uh, they chose Bentonville on that. So we're really excited about it, but it is, um, you know, over 500 pieces of art. It is uh, just ama amazing because it starts from the colonial period all the way to the contemporary. So you get a really good feel of things. Now, I, you know, art is good, but also food. And as I was riding around, I see we have a lot of different restaurants. Like right yeah. now we're at the Hub. They make some wonderful drinks. Sure. And I see we got this flatbread right here. We might take a little yeah, bit let's of that. Yeah, let's try it. You a bet. A little bit here in a second, you know. So uh, do you come here often? Uh, we do. I, we enjoy here. My husband and I have two uh, kids that are 21 and 23. So we come down and have a uh, grab dinner. And uh, uh, of course, we probably have a drink or two. And then we uh, can socialize. And it's a great place to meet friends. OK, so uh, especially on a bike. Yes. You can, you can pull right in. There's bike racks right out here. So definitely, definitely. So tell me what's next for uh, Visit Bentonville. Anything that I should be aware of, you know, that I need to bring more stuff, bring more friends, <laughs> the tourists. You yeah, know? you know, we're going to continue to grow in the trail world. Okay. Uh, I think you're going to see more coming um, in the region and even in the statewide. You know, we have some wonderful trails statewide at that. But 
Uh, we're going to see more trails. I think you're going to see more of the music scene uh, with the addition of Momentary that I don't know if you've been there yet. I'm Hopefully you're going to try that I've out. I've seen a lot yeah. of photos where yeah. you guys have been yeah. posting. It's yeah. still on my way <laughs> to make it there and yeah. I just love where it came yeah. from. Well, this yeah. last weekend we had the Fresh Grass Festival what? and it had we had uh, over three or 4,000 people there. It was phenomenal. Billy Strings played. Uh, a lot of different uh, artists uh, truly enjoyed the time there. It was outdoors. It was a fantastic experience, and we look forward to continuing that annually. So, uh, you know, you need to put that on your calendar next year. That that is, you know what? I'm not next year. I'm, two weeks, I'm gonna be there. <laughs> two weeks, I'm gonna be there so I can experience that. Good, 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 good. Well, hey, I want to thank you for taking the time out you and bet. just hanging out with me. And there's a lot more trails I need to get to yes. and check out Bentonville. Visit Bentonville and where are you guys located again? Uh, we're right on the square and you can stop in. We have a lobby full of brochures. If you're looking for things to do, uh, just stop in and grab what you need. All right, well, right now, it's time to grab some food. Sounds great, <laughs> thank you. Oh man, that was so amazing. We got to eat some great food at the Hub. We got to visit Crystal Bridges, probably one of my favorite, and ride along in some cool trails. Now you can't beat that. So yes, be sure to follow along and visit us next time as we head on over to the Kohler Mountain Bike Preserve. I'll check y'all then.